We'll but, start with an AB amplifier okay, here. Okay, so this is a KMA 360.4. Yeah, so this is an AB 65 by 4 at 4 ohms. As you'll see, our power and ground is on down here on this side of the board. You'll see we have a couple filter caps on the input stage and this inductor here. Why would we have an inductor on the input? Uh, noise, I'm guessing? Yes, radiated noise. So what this stops is radiated noise from coming back out the power wire uh -huh. and radiating noise throughout the car. And so to pass stuff like FCC, CTIC, some of the radiated noise testing across the world, this is required. This is something you won't see in a lot of amplifiers that aren't sold internationally or companies that don't like really worry Follow about the rules. Yeah. <laughs> and so this you'll yeah. see on almost all of our amplifiers. There's some of them that we don't put it in, but in general, like because they don't need it, there's we the layout is so good that there's yeah. no radiated noise. But in most of them, this is a safety to make sure you pass the testing. Sure. Of course you come into the power supply, power supply caps. This power supply here is a push pull, so it's a split rail. So you have a high rail of like 36 volts and a low rail of negative 36 volts. Now let's talk about voltage real quick because uh, a car is 12, 14.4 volts. So how are you getting 36 volts in here? Well, that's basically what this nice little toroid does here. So you use power supply FETs to switch energy into the toroid. The toroid then stores the energy for you and then releases it in a pulse. Okay. By controlling the switching frequency and the amount of windings and the type of core that you have, you then can change how much voltage comes out the other side. So as an example, if this was 36 volts positive and negative right now, if we pulled up one winding off each side and back in, it might be 32 volts. Okay. And so that's how you can like bring an amplifier power up and down. The problem is, is you'll get desaturation at some point. Okay. So it's not like you can just go buy an amplifier, yeah. Keep rewind winding. this toroid, right? <laughs> yeah. You'll have two problems. One, the <laughs> this will saturate, and two, the FETs are, only, FETs are matched in the amplifier for the type of voltage rails they work on.